Hi everyone, uh, my name is Ewan Ferguson and this is for my communications class. This is my TED talk on emotional intelligence and whether it is more about nature or nurture. Before we kind of get into that, I want to kind of define emotional intelligence and how I define it is it's kind of the capacity to be aware of, control, and express one's emotions, to be able to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically. Moving on to nature versus nurture, essentially we're wondering, do genetic or environmental factors have a greater influence on our behavior? Do inherited traits or experiences play a greater role in shaping our personalities? Nature and nurture has been around forever. The debate goes on. But um, from some studies that I have read, I've seen more links that our EI is linked and has more links to our early childhood experiences and thus is considered to be more of a product of nurturing rather than our IQ, which has strong links to our genetics and our DNA makeup. The good news with EI is that if you come up a bit short on the points in comparison to IQ, there are things that you can do to significantly increase your EI. Even some people with lower scores have improved their EI by taking part in social and emotional learning, SEL activities, and classes. These techniques can enhance performance not just in the career path, but also in other aspects of their lives. One great example of nurturing, kind of uh, creating good habits uh, for EI would be when children are ta taught to share their toys and be kind to others. It helps them develop their social skills that they will need to survive and thrive in the world as future adults. Kids learn empathy and how to cooperate and respect others' personal space. This makes their peers feel comfortable in their presence and want to spend more time with them in the future. So the keys to developing EI, I have this little diagram here. And essentially, the four building blocks are perceiving emotions, managing emotions, facilitating thought, using emotions, and understanding emotions. And now I have three steps for us to do to develop our EI. And as I say these steps, try and see how they can reach all of the building blocks. So number one is to recognize our emotions as we feel them and that we can name them. We can name how we are feeling. Number two would be to ask for feedback from our friends and family on our emotions and our EI. Number three is to read literature. It's gonna increase our learning it's going to increase our understanding and we'll be able to develop our EI through reading literature and increasing the capacity our brains can hold. So I want everyone to write down those three steps and to hopefully apply them in their lives. Uh, I appreciate everyone coming to listen to my TED Talk. That's everything I have to share for you. and I hope that you all have a wonderful day.